It's really overcast here. It's actually just stopped raining. It's the middle of the day. It looks like night, I know. Um, but I don't know why I showed you that. Okay, I was going to do a different video today. I was going to put up a different video. I put it off till tomorrow because I'm going to do this tag, which I suspect is going to be the tag of the week. It's an original tag created by the Mild Rumpus to celebrate his um, rocketing to over 100 uh, or over 1,000 subscribers, which he did in very short time, which is not surprising because he's he's uh, got a great demeanor, a great uh, online presence, and he makes uh, really entertaining, energetic videos. So if you haven't checked him out, I think a lot of people have. Obviously, a thousand people have. So, and he was nice enough to tag me and um, some other people. So I'm going to go through it. it. It's called the Stay Gold Book Tag. I'm sure you're seeing these popping up everywhere now. Um, the tag is inspired by the S.E. Hinton classic young adult novel, The Outsiders, as well as the musical adaption opened on Broadway in April 2024. I think Rumpus is a New Yorker. Oh, I know he is. The goal of this tag is to give thanks, shine light on the booktubers that have been inspiring, influencing, and supportive, as well as channels that bring me joy as a viewer. Uh, tag, you're it. Okay, so <clears throat> really resonated with me because uh, some of the questions are, are things I wanted to talk about for a while. They're based on characters on, in The Outsiders, which I only know from the Coppola movie, the old Coppola movie. There'll be a lot of pausing because I have to look up people's names and things like that. I, I'm not good at remembering that stuff. Anyway, prompt number one, Pony Boy Curtis. Uh, share some booktubers who have been especially supportive of your channel. I'm a new booktuber as well, like uh, Mild Rumpus is, so there have been some stand-up people that have been really supportive of my channel that I want to thank. Uh, first of all, of course, uh, Mark from Book Time with Elvis, who's probably the most direct in influence on me starting a channel because he has a he has a great video or actually a couple videos on uh, why you started a channel, and plus just enjoying his content very much. And there's the um, the well known and ever ever kind and loving MJ, who does a fantastic weekly. Um, shout out to uh, small in praise of small booktubers. You know, always always boosting the newest booktubers she can find, and she was kind enough to mention me once. Um, there's, oh, I'm, I messed up my lists here. There's uh, my friend Faceless Book Reviews, which I think we started very close at the same time. He started a. Uh, praising my videos early on and, and we make a lot of comments back and forth and try to catch all each other's videos so he's very inspiring to me and we try and keep each other inspired um, and uh, and of, of course Kelly at books I'm not reading she's always very ins uh, helpful too she always responds to comments not always I mean you know as much as she can and she's offered a uh, uh, to be a sounding board for me and things like that, um, and I really appreciate her support. Okay, so that's some some of these names are going to come up again and again. Uh, that's just how it is. Uh, okay, number two, Daryl Derry Curtis. Share a channel that has inspired or somehow influenced your channel. Well, again, I've got to go with Book Time with Elvis. Wait a minute, did I just read the same thing twice? Uh, you know. Big inspiration. Uh, another big inspiration is a very well-known booktuber called Michael K. Vaughn, and that's because his he's, his channel is the first one I discovered. I talked about that in my unwatchable uh, booktube newbie tag, which is an hour long, uh, but I'm not redoing it. Um, <clears throat> and he's the one who showed me this this you know his his presence here showed me th this corner of booktube. Uh, which, as I said in that video, I, th I thought book two was mostly you know young people talking about young adult books and and uh, and uh, talking about arcs and review copies, and of course that's part of it. But I didn't know how much broader it was, and there's just a ton of people having fun with a passion for all kinds of different books. Uh, most of the channels that I really like, I'm not really as interested in 
what kind of books the person reads as, as they're um, that's just hearing what they have to say about it. I enjoy other people's passions. Am um, I done with that one? Let me see. So that's a big inspiration. Um, uh, let's see. Steve Donahue's big inspiration because he just does not care uh, about any of the uh, things that you're supposed to care about on YouTube when you start looking up a channel and you know, we start looking up how to make a channel and, you know, what kind of lights you need and how to make thumbnails and how long your videos are supposed to be and and post this much and, not, and don't post too much and all these kind of things. He's doing it just for the pure passion and it's, and it's worked out for him. And I don't watch all his videos. I don't know anybody who, maybe some people do. Uh, I don't know anybody who can watch all his videos, but he's always there when you want to watch something. And he's very reliable in that sense because he's a you know very uh, witty and engaging speaker. So there's always something on his channel new to see. And that inspired me because uh, because I, I'm trying to just focus mostly on, on the videos I want to I want to make. I don't really under I don't really look at any of the stats except the subscriber stat which is the easiest one to see. You can really hardly avoid it, you know, when you go to your um, your your creator page, you know, it's the big number. But all these others about how much time people watched on a video or how what percentage of the uh, audience clicked out and that kind of stuff, I, I'm remaining willfully ignorant of it. I have pretty good analytical skills from based from one job I used to have where I used to have to analyze a lot of stuff we did there and I'm deliberately not applying that stuff because I just want to do the videos I want to do and um, so far I'm still having fun all right what's next okay share a booktube channel that makes you laugh and brings you joy well mild rumpus is a very joyful channel he's very upbeat really the the polar opposite of me Kelly's uh, channel Kelly books I'm not reading channel always makes me laugh because she's so happy and and uh, such a soothing presence with a nice laugh I like faceless book reviews uh, channel for the same reason he's just walking out in the woods and talking about books he cares about so those all those make me uh, those bring me a lot of joy Okay, number four, Keith Tubit Matthews recommends some new to you book channels that you enjoy watching. Okay, I actually did think this through a little better than my other questions because there's a few that I've really only discovered in the last week or so, uh, maybe a little bit longer that I'm uh, that have quickly become my favorites. And one of those is is David uh, David Novak reads poetry. Uh, He's always got interesting books to talk about. His videos are not too long. That's very hypocritical of me to say because mine go on and on and on, but I do watch a lot more short videos of other people's. And um, I like his fights with his cat. You know, uh, he's, he's got a great channel. It's not just a poetry channel. It started out that way, but I'm going to tag him on this. Um, another channel that I've just started watching that is kind of a, already a not miss for me is hope I'm saying this right it's a, I believe he pronounces it J Shea it's J Z Y S H Z Y you know all these links will be in there of course um, he's got interesting stuff to say uh, his uh, videos are, are well thought out and enjoyable there's a person called I thought I was going to have to do more pausing here. The Limitless Librarian. I'm going to make sure I have the right channel. This might be two separate ones I'm mixing up. Oh, yeah, the Limitless Librarian, I wanted to add in question three. Uh, she's Australian, I believe. I hope I've got that right. I would hate to give somebody the wrong nationality but I, I like her channel a lot and sh and back on question three makes me laugh and brings me joy I, I love her sign off 
and uh, just go to her channel and watch any of her her, her, her um, videos. I for a while I've been looking for an easy way or a clever way or a consistent way to sign off my videos because I have trouble ending them. And she has one of the greatest sign off lines, uh, along with Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading. Those two have the uh, best sign off lines, and I won't, I won't uh, quote either of them. I'm sure most people know Kelly's channel, but if you haven't checked out Limitless Librarian, uh, watch her channel. Uh, she does uh, mostly reviews, it seems It seems to me, book reviews, straight book reviews. She's always got an interesting perspective, and you'll enjoy her, her sign-off. I think it's very clever. Okay, so then I was on four. Uh, new to you, I had um, David Novak reads poetry, Jay Shea, and one I just discovered through... Um, David Novak's channel because he was tagged because he tagged her in a video. Now I gotta look this up too. Ugh. Oh yeah, Sin's Book Nook. S Y N. Sin's Book Nook. I just started watching her. Interruption by the mild rumpus there. Uh, oh my God! Stop playing. Um. Yeah, I just discovered her like two days ago. She picks really interesting books to talk about. She mostly talks about recent books, at least what I've seen. And her videos are very short, about six, seven minutes mostly, and really information-packed. I feel like in six minutes, she covers a book better than I cover in 45 minutes. So I want to watch a lot more of her channel. I'll tag her in this you know, for this for this tag too. Um, another one. I'm still going back between three and four because I'm very scatterbrained. Uh, so another one on, on question number three. Channels that make me laugh and bring you joy would be Cat's Novel Adventures. She's another very enthusiastic, uh, helpful person um, who uh, likes reads a, a wide variety of books. She has a a video I really like her, what she covered on her horror reading recently where she talked about happened to be all stuff I'd read it happened to be except for one piece it was uh, stuff that I, I'm really a fan of like early Clive Barker and uh, We've Always Lived in the Castle by uh, um, Shirley Jackson um, And a couple other ones that I really enjoyed her perspective on them, even though she's a great person to listen to, even if it's a book you've already read and know really well. I was uh, interested in what Kat has to say. Okay, so now to number five, Dallas Dally Winston. What was something that you initially found tough as a booktube newbie? Share how you overcame it. I don't know if I've overcome anything yet. Um, there was a, a time... There was a big gap. I did a bunch of early videos early on, and then I... You can see the rain now. Can you hear it? Why Why would I think that you care about that? I did a big gap in my um, posting for a while. I just got sick of it uh, for a little bit, and... Uh, so I, I worried about that and I made myself do some more videos and I've been pretty consistent since then but I started to get a bit of an ego about it like oh what's my audience going to do if I don't post or what are they you know all that kind of silly stuff like I'm going to you know, you know just trying to balance out the number of posts and I think I overcame it by just by not how uh, just deciding I've got too much to worry about than to worry about whether I'm posting too much or not enough. I don't, I try not to do two videos a day because I just don't, I wish you could control how many notifications your subscribers get because I hate notifications. As soon as I subscribe to in, anybody, I go and I turn off the notifications and, and then, because I like to do it manually. I, when I come to YouTube to watch YouTube, I click on my subscriber tab or my uh, my subscriber list and I, I just start looking for ones that look interesting to me. I don't want, you know, but I subscribe to hundreds of people. If you're subscribing to four or five people, 
which maybe a lot of YouTubers do, I mean a lot of viewers do, then maybe you need notifications when something new's happening. But there's always something new for me to see, so I don't want to be notified. So that's, you know, how you do that is you click on the, the uh, subscription bell and, and you can turn it to, to the bell with a slash through it so that you don't get subscriptions. I mean, so that you stay subscribed, but you don't get notifications. And I wish there was a way that I could uh, make that easier for people to do so that they could subscribe to my channel, but not feel like they're constantly getting bombarded with content from me. Okay, so that's stuff I overcame. Number six, Steve Randall. What is your favorite video on your channel? The one that came to mind was my review of the King Kong movie novelization, which is in the public domain, was published in around 32 or 33 when the original movie came out. Uh, I'll try and remember to link to that one at the end if, you know, when I do the setup. If I don't know why that's my favorite. It just, it just struck me as... as I just had a good, a really good time reading that book, and and I did the video as soon as I finished it. Whereas most of the things I'd been doing before then were things I was planning in my head for a while. So that's my favorite for whatever reason. Uh, Sherry Cherry Valance Valance number seven. Share a channel that you enjoy watching outside of BookTube. All right, pause while I look this guy up. Uh, couldn't find it anyway. He has he doesn't post very much anymore anyway. But it's in the it, but I found another one. Um, these were these are in the realm of language acquisition. I've talked about before how I'm learning Spanish. I'm really interested in language uh, as a subject. Here's a uh, account called Rob Words. It's in English. Um, he. It's just badly pronounced French. Those aren't my words. That's okay, that's that's a video he did about uh, this controversial statement that some uh, Frenchman made about English recently. Anyway, he just has a lot of language about uh, a lot of uh, videos about language theory and pronunciation and things and how certain accents came to be. I think uh, one big focus of his channel is is teaching English as a second language, and he a lot a lot of videos that um, are spoken in a way that's supposed to be uh, easily to understand for people who are not native to English. But he always has fascinating topics. Um, so I'll say he's definitely one of my favorite non-book channels. Check him out. Um, number eight, Johnny Cade. Discuss the effect that BookTube has had on you as a reader. Well, there's one very clear one, and that is I pay much more attention when I'm reading now because I, I want to make sure I have my facts straight if I go to talk about a book and, and not be caught out, uh, which happens to me a lot because my, my brain is Swiss cheese. Um, so I do pay more attention. I sometimes think about things uh, that I'm going to say even while I'm reading a book, and I'm not so happy with, with that development because I'd rather just be able to read the book and assess it and enjoy it and then think about my assessment later but that's just not possible it's not a big difference though it's also um, so far um, I'm doing a lot more reading based on suggestions even though I have a ton of my own stuff I want to read uh, some of these suggestions that people come up with are are taking precedence, which is fine because there's some really great, great stuff I'm finding. So those are some of the ways it's changed. Number nine, sunsets. P share a piece of advice, wisdom. Okay, let me go to my crystal ball and I'll be right back. I couldn't think of anything. Okay, number 10, stay gold, tag others. So I'm going to tag Faceless Book Reviews uh, for the reasons I mentioned before. Um, and... You know, Rumpus, Mild Rumpus tagged a lot of people, a lot of people. And so I'm trying to tag people I noticed that I, that were um, people I discussed here that I, I noticed not being listed. You know, there's another group of people I want to talk about before I do that, though. And that is the, uh, the all the sponsors of the um, 
Spring into Adventure tag. I know they, they do a bunch of different uh, uh, tags throughout the year. They had done uh, No Place Like Homes before. And that is, and they are all, all of them, all the six of them, I believe, are among my favorite channels. They're probably known to you too. So I'm going to, but I want to make sure I don't leave anyone out. So I'm going to go to uh, one of their videos and read all the names off. Okay, and those are the Spring Engine Adventure hosts who are Book Time with Elvis. I've talked about another bibliophile reads, is another uh, channel since he does a lot of short stories uh, and has really good um, analysis. I don't think he would refer to it as analysis, but really, really good uh, discussion of his reading on there. And then Big Heart Books uh, 770, Sean D. Steadfast, and Mystery and Mayhem. Those are all great guys. When they do um, uh, live uh, events, whatever you call them, meetings, uh, I and I try and catch those when they, when they discuss uh, the events that they're all passionate about. Those are another big impetus to, to get started with my own channel because they look like they're having so much fun and uh, they all have interesting perspectives. Okay, so I think I'm done. I'm going to tag uh, Faceless Book Reviews. I'm going to tag Sins Book Nook. I'm going to tag David Novak Reads Poetry. Uh, I, Jay Shea. Okay. Uh, Jim's Book Reading and Stuff. Cat's Novel Adventures. And oh, I don't know how to say the name of her channel either. It's... um. Let's see, because she's always very nice and supportive, and she's I like I like the events she's sponsored too, and I didn't see her on this list already. She probably is on someone's list already, but it's gonna be dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun, dun -dun -dun. maybe it isn't gonna be. Uh, Scally Danling about books, and. Uh, if you want to do the tag, knock yourself out. Anybody else who wants to do the tag, uh, enjoy it. I think there'll be a lot of these up. I'm interested to see what other people are going to do, whether they decide to do it with this or not. And we'll talk soon.